In this video, we'll look at how to create custom graphics for your presentation using Clever's Vector Editor. For the demonstration, I'm using a free 3D model from the SketchUp 3D Warehouse. You can find it at bit.ly forward slash Clever House. I've imported it into the Architecture Daylight 8am preset, which you can find on the Create Project screen. First, let's add a graphic to the presentation. To do this, go to the Insert menu and click Panel, then 2D Panel. Click in the viewport to create the panel. You can see that the Vector Editor appears. The panel itself has also appeared in the viewport. You can carry on editing the scene while the Vector Editor is open. For example, I can change the position of the panel on the screen. Once that's done, double-clicking on the panel will bring the Vector Editor window back again. I'm going to maximise the window to give us a better view. You can see that the Vector Editor is laid out in the same way as most vector drawing packages. The File menu lets you open a graphic in SVG or other formats and to save or export your work. The Edit menu gives you a standard range of options like Undo, Copy, Paste and Delete, all of which use standard keyboard shortcuts. The Object menu lets you arrange the elements of a graphic, to group or ungroup them and to convert them to paths. The View menu lets you display the rulers or the background grid and to view the graphic as a wireframe or as HTML5 source code. To zoom in or out of the canvas, use the drop-down at the foot of the screen. I'm going to zoom in to give us a better view. You can edit the canvas itself at the top right of the screen. As with many of the controls in the Vector Editor, you can change the height setting by entering a numerical value or by clicking and dragging in the box. The colour swatch lets you set the colour of the canvas. As you can see, you can fill it with a solid colour, a linear gradient or a radial gradient. I'm going to set it to be transparent. As you can see, that has also updated the fill colour I have selected on the left of the screen, so I'm going to set it back to black by clicking in the colour swatch bar. Now let's look at the tools bar. The pencil tool lets you draw freehand strokes. The strokes are saved as vectors, so by clicking and dragging on them, you can transform them or rotate them. From the options on the right of the screen, you can also change the stroke width or set it to a dashed line or change its opacity or apply a blur effect. I'm going to delete the stroke again by right-clicking on it and selecting Delete. In Windows, you can do the same thing by hitting the Delete key on the keyboard. Going back to the Tools bar, the Line tool draws a straight line. The Square Rect tool draws rectangular forms. The Ellipse Circle tool draws ellipses. Or if you hold down Shift as you drag, it draws circles. The Path tool draws paths. If you click to add points, you can draw straight-edged forms. Or if you click and drag, you can draw bezier curves. The Shape Library lets you insert ready-made vector shapes, including a standard set of browser and social media icons. The Text tool lets you insert text. The Zoom tool zooms in on the canvas, or if you hold Alt and click, it zooms back out and the eyedropper lets you select colours. Let's see how the tools work together by creating a very simple graphic for our presentation. First, we need to resize the canvas. Go to the Width field and enter a value of 300 pixels. Then go to the Height field and enter a value of 150. You can see that the lower text box is now running off the edge of the canvas, so I'm just going to delete it. Choose the Select tool, click on it, then press Delete on the keyboard. Next, let's resize the coloured rectangle in the background. Click on it and drag it to fit the canvas. Now let's edit the text. First, I'm going to use the font drop-down on the right of the screen 
to change the font to Helvetica. The text seems a bit large, so I'm going to set the font size to 32. Now type in the name of the model, which is Modern House. That places the text off-center in the canvas. To fix that, click the Align icons on the right of the screen. Now let's duplicate the text box. Go to the Edit menu and select Duplicate. You can reposition the new text box by dragging it on the canvas or by using the arrow keys on the keyboard. Type in the URL of the model. Now let's center the text vertically in the panel. Shift click to select both text boxes. Then go to the Object menu and select Group Elements. Now you can center the group text vertically in the panel. In the drop down on the right of the screen, select Align to Page. Then click on the icon to center the text vertically. Now let's give the panel a proper background. Click on the background rectangle to select it. First, we're going to make the background darker. Select a mid gray from the swatches panel at the foot of the screen. Use the opacity setting on the right of the screen to reduce its opacity. To give the panel a border, select the stroke swatch. Make it white from the swatches panel at the foot of the screen. Then on the right of the screen, raise the stroke width to 2 pixels. To see the finished graphic in the presentation, just close the vector editor. And that's it! You've created a simple interface element using Clever's built-in tools.